the librarian. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good. How are you, Doug? Uh-oh. Battery died. The camera's fine. Aha. Uh -huh. Suddenly, I, I've got that blank look on my face. It's just kind of there. All right. Do you have something special for us today? I do. Today, we're going to talk about the second chapter of Acts. Okay. Not the chapter in the Bible, but the uh, Christian music <laughs> group. <laughs> you talk about Matthew and his sister Annie, and I never did get the third sister. Yes, it was uh, Annie, Nellie, and Matthew. That's it. Yeah, in fact, Nellie is uh, how this all began. Uh, they started uh, being at Nellie's house, I understand, because uh, their parents actually passed away, and she was the oldest of the three uh, siblings, and they ended up moving in with her when their parents passed away. They do. It's a rather unique one, and as you as you know, uh, sometimes uh, siblings seem to have the best uh, harmony. <laughs> well, that's true. Sometimes the worst. That's true too. That's true. I've seen it go both ways. That's true. <laughs> now, why did you choose the second chapter? Man? Well, I chose them because I knew they were they were around toward the beginning of uh, what was then known as Jesus music back in the early '70s. In fact, uh, they have a closer tie to the start of Jesus music than some of the other artists we've talked about so far, mainly because they were kind of uh, partially discovered by Barry McGuire, and he was one of the ones who was kind of in there toward the beginning, around 69, 1970, uh, when he got saved after uh, singing with the uh, Christie Minstrels for quite some time. Right, Eve of Destruction was uh, Barry McGuire. He also did Do Once to Become a Christian. His big hit was uh, a one called Cosmic Cowboy, which you may have heard. Yep. So what's going on with the second chapter of Acts today? I mean, the first time I heard them was in the late 70s. They were already uh, young adults, I think, at that point. Right. Have they, have they kept up with their music? They have kept up with their music. I don't know if they uh, tour as much uh, right now. I, I kind of think they've gone their separate ways with some solo careers and, and uh, kind of out of the limelight right now. I'm not quite sure if they are uh, touring as much these days, but... Uh, Back in the day, they were, they were a pretty big deal. And uh, in fact, toward the beginning, they were, like I said, they, Barry McGuire helped discover them, and then they actually went on tour together with uh, Barry McGuire toward that early part in their career. And then they kind of uh, jumped into their uh, first recording through Murr Records and eventually uh, switched over, I believe it was, to uh, Sparrow uh, Recordings and uh, did a few things with them. And uh, they had a pretty long stretch for probably close to, I would say, probably about 20 years or so. And then uh, kind of uh, exited just a little bit uh, early, and I don't really know, like I said, if they do tour right now or not. I don't think they do. It was funny. I mean, we all, of course, if, if we're fortunate, we get older. Right. And uh, I remember Matthew because he was tall and uh, not skinny, he was slender, really long hair, probably the longest hair in Christian. And I saw a picture of him a couple weeks ago, and he looks like a grandpa. Yeah. Like me. Yep. Like what happened? Yeah, I had to ask myself the same question. Oh my goodness. Well, what song have you got lined up for today, Steve? This one is called uh, Which Way the Wind Blows. And uh, this is also off their first recording, which was uh, called with footnotes back in 1974. And, um, you know, I don't know offhand if this uh, song really ever charted that big as the other song that most people probably know off of this recording called The Easter Song, which was their kind of breakout hit and kind of their signature song. But uh, I thought we'd play something different this time than the Easter song, just to give you more of an idea of their, or their vocal uh, blend and those kind of things. And uh, we talked earlier, I think last week or the week before, about how a lot of the earlier Jesus music was more scripturally based. And this one actually is right out of uh, scripture. And uh, you'll probably recognize some of the words as they start singing here. But uh, it's a really good song, I think. And, uh, of course, like I said, it talks about their, uh, you can just hear their vocal blend in there and, how cool it sounds, I sure invite people to turn the radios up. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, I got it all set up. As a matter of fact, I, uh, I set up which way the wind blows and also the Easter Oh, awesome. Well, Stephen, thank you so much for calling today. And you can hear the uh, CCM flashback every Sunday morning. It's not with Steve, the librarian here. Do so. you like that name? Yeah, I like that. That's good. Good. It makes you sound like a superhero. I know, exactly.
Thanks so much.